Okay, awesome. I see my whole Zoom screen filling up and I see some people playing full out. This makes my heart happy. This is amazing. I see lots of red and green. I said somebody had, I gotta, I gotta keep swiping on here. We'll get started in about two minutes. So get those last minute um, messages sent out in your chats or your text messages. Um, this is gonna be a fun call, fun, fun call. Was it eight o'clock? One minute, we will get started. We know that everybody's time is money. Money is time. And we appreciate you hopping on with us this evening. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Shay. You might see Sassy Shay on my screen. That's what most people call me. Let me get my chat up here so I can see. Oh, and I can see all the high, happy, proof family. Good evening. Hi, Shay. Hi, Sassy. Love all the sweaters. Um, I've been drinking and sharing ketones for four and a half years. Um, it is a passion that I have grown deeper in love with. Um, if you don't know me before ketones, I was overweight and miserable, no energy. And then God said, here you go. I need you to be in this family, this community, and the rest is history. Um, I love that we get to do this. If this is your first team Zoom, will you pop a one in the chat? Um, props out to you guys that are hopping on this team chat. It is Amazing. And of course, I see, I always see, I was going to point out myself that I had a sweater on, but looky there, I'm looking right at the camera. Roy, I see you with your sweater on. I see Donna. Y'all, pardon me. I'm going to have to put on some glasses. Even Keto Papito, look at him with his foresty. Um, is that considered an ugly sweater? That looks like you're going to a cabin and cutting some logs, Nick. Uh, Amber, look how cute you look. You've got your sweater on. Todd, love that hat. I see a Mary. I want that Mary sweatshirt, Allie. I've been looking online for that. Hey, Emily, Joy, I see you. I hope you are feeling better. Moi. Uh, there's the McCarthy's. Oh, you got the memo? You got the memo with the hat. Super cute. Um, let me switch pages here. This is exciting. Lots of people on here. Um, Melissa, I see you. Melissa, girl, are you cold? I see some, Melissa Jones. <laughs> That's her ugly sweater. Oh my gosh. Jody, look, she's a little elf. Hi, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get started. If you have, you can turn your cameras on. We don't care what you look like. Like I said earlier, we do not judge. Um, I love these team calls. We get to come together and celebrate our winnings, not only last month, but what we're going into this month. And then, of course, we just celebrated everything um, at Epic, and that just lit my fire like a firecracker in the sky, ready to take off into um, 2023. So stay tuned at the end of the call. We're going to give away, you know, Papito, he gives away some cool stuff. So we're going to do the ugly sweater contest. Mine says you had me at ho, ho, ho. So that's, you know, pretty appropriate um, for mine. Um, so flavors, my husband's trying to find my ugly sweater. Amber, just get a piece of paper and write ugly sweater. That works, right? You can put it in different, you know, kind of uh, market. We need to wake up these chats. What did everybody have today? I know that every time a flavor comes out, I say it's my favorite, my favorite flavor, but y'all, did you grab this? Literally, I drank one and I'm like, who drank it? Who, and I live alone. Like who took this? It is so, so delicious. Um, so if you're drinking any, oh, hi, Donna. Put what flavor you're drinking into the chats. And then um, we'll get started with Nick, blackberry, pineapple, gummy bear, Lori, yep, I have a box of it sitting right here. It is a delicious blue ocean, rainbow candy, kiwi melon, yes, wild tiger, toucan tank. Yo, look at us little variety people. Green apple, Nick had two ups. I've had two today. Fueled by female, keto kick, strawberry peach, prickly pear. Look at that. I mean, and people say that this can get boring. This because this can, you can never say that we have boring flavors. Gummy bear, um, Adriana, girl, let me tell you what, it is like eating a bag of white gummy bears. I don't know what it tastes like to anybody else. Um, the reason why we have these calls, first, you guys, thanks for hopping on. We have these calls to um, celebrate our wins. I believe Nick is going to announce um, some achievements. We're going to have a new contest. Did you guys like that? Give a pack, share a pack, um, walking up to random strangers. That was a big thing for me to step outside my comfort zone and just walk up to people and be like, hey, uh, nice shirt, by the way, what do you know about ketones and ketosis? Um, but I thought that was a cool, 
pull type of thing. We've done the reels challenge. We've done the live challenges. Now we're doing the, I think it's called drive bys what Becca, the McCarthy's had named that. We got some magic apple. Oh, Karen and her root beer. We know that Mrs. Bannock loves her uh, keto up root beer. Is Natalie on? I know I'm passing this off to Nick next. He is going to go over the amazing, amazing achievements that we had for the month of November. And um, I need to drink some more keto up because y'all for once, I'm out of words. Take <laughs> uh, what's up, everyone? How's it going? That's, that's the word I've never heard out of Shay's mouth. I'm out of words. I love it. Um, man, good to see all of your, uh, your sweaters. These are fun. Uh, I'm just looking through here, scrolling. I don't know what is on Sarah Green's head, but it looks exciting. <laughs> oh, oh, she's like Rudolph or something. There you go. I love it. Britton and Jody. Look at that. Liz even has a uh, Rudolph nose. I mean, here we go. Super fun. I, I have a couple ugly sweaters and this one just feels so like, I don't know. It's just ugly. It's perfect. Um, awesome. Well, I'm glad that you're all able to hop on. I'm really excited to be here with you tonight. And this is a call that we do every single month. So for those of you that are new, if you're new since uh, November, type new, type new in the comments just so that we can see and celebrate you. Um, Donna's new. I know we have a bunch of brand new promoters. What's up, Ryan? Welcome. And Stephanie. Fantastic. Who else? Shakaran, how's it going? Robin, I mean, woohoo, Amy, Terry. This is awesome. We got a lot of new new faces on. So welcome. We do this call as a community wide, as a as a team wide call once a month. Uh, generally, we have it the first Monday of the month. It just happened to fall on uh, right after Epic, and everybody is traveling, so we shifted it a week. Uh, which turned into a kind of a fun uh, holiday celebration. So the outcome of this call really is to celebrate the previous month and kick off the next month. Today, I really want to talk kind of about going into 2023 um, and just what's possible here and, and why we're all here together. I've been on the phone a lot within the last week, just with brand new people that are just drinking ketones for the first time, people that are just enrolling as promoters after having drank ketones for the last few months and the excitement around what we have our hands on and the impact that this is having um, just has never been higher. Like it's never been more significant. So uh, if you look around, if you go drive to the shopping mall, if anybody actually shops at the mall anymore um, and you look around, it's not full of people that are feeling awesome and have massive smiles on their face and are, are stress-free, right? It's full of people that uh, are tired don't have enough energy, are buying new clothes because they don't fit into the ones that they have. And at the same time, it's full of uh, stress for the holidays over finances and credit card debt and all that good stuff. And the beauty of this community of this business is we get to work with all of those things, right? We're helping people feel their best. We're also helping people uh, basically have a new vehicle for financial freedom, for being able to pay off some of the debt, that debt. So before we go any further, I do want to recognize some achievements for last month because uh, no November was a, a record month uh, across many uh, metrics. Our team-wide volume was uh, through the roof. I think it was up like 30% over October. Uh, we had more new customers come in, more new promoters come in, and just the sheer number of rank ups and excitement uh, was awesome. So one of the things that we really focus on and are, are striving for as a community is to hit MVP or to hit MVP multiplier. And if you're brand new, what that means is hitting 2000 in new personal qualifying volume. Essentially, it's like 25 boxes in 30 days. Um, in a perfect world, it's three new customers with one of our better bundles and two new promoters with the max pack. That's kind of like the perfect world scenario, which is awesome. Uh, but the reality is you just have to get that volume amount. So if you achieved either MVP or MVP multiplier, either in the month of November or you just hit it this month in December, uh, type what you hit in the comments so that we can all celebrate each other here because we had a record number of people that hit it. MVP three. I mean, look at these. Jamie Hill, MVP two. Carrie Wynn hit MVP three. Sarah Ramos. I mean, so many names. Just keep typing if you hit it. I'm not going to uh, be able to read every single name here. They're coming faster than I can read them, but congratulations. Um, congratulations and celebrate that. Multiplier, November and December. Good job, Jody, Lori, Roy, Todd. And here's what's cool. Uh, we had a lot of people who hit 
multiplier or MVP for the first time, right? Had not hit it before, have not hit it in the past. Um, if, if let's, if you've been, or if it was your first time, just type first time in the comments. I'm curious, um, who hit it for the very first time last month. Um, if it was your first time hitting either, uh, MVP or MVP multiplier, because at the end of the day, this business isn't about just doing something once what you're going to hear about tonight is doing something consistently over time. And everybody starts in a little bit different spot, right? Some people start with skills that they've built over time and they've learned a lot about this style of business. And so they're, they're ready to go. Other people start where they've built a network over the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years of people that know, like, and trust them. Other people like myself don't start very fast where it's, you have to go learn the skills and you have to go develop the network. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you started. I'm not concerned about that. What matters to me is that you're starting, you're starting, right? And you're taking the action. So the beginning in this journey is different for everyone. And something I heard from a very wise individual a while back is the definition of misery is comparison. And I want to, I'll say that again. The definition of misery is comparison. How do you become miserable? Compare yourself to your neighbor, your friend, compare yourself to the, everybody else on this Zoom. And it's like comparing apples to oranges, right? They're, they're just completely different fruit. You're a different fruit than Nick Martinez. I might be a fruitcake, but uh, at the end of the day, right, we're on different journeys. And a lot of times what we also do is compare ourselves to only part of that person's story, not to their whole story. So if somebody comes in to prove it and just goes to the top really, really fast, maybe you didn't see what they did for the previous seven years. Um, if you want to compare yourself, you can compare yourself to me. I spent 30 days in this style of business, enrolled no one except for my father uh, on day 30. He was a pity sign up. Basically, Nick, stop talking about it and I'll just give you my credit card and get started. Uh, second month, I enrolled like a, maybe two customers and it didn't take off. It took me a few months to actually get some traction and to figure it out. And I was working my tail off. 26 year old dude had like five pilot friends who weren't interested in what I was doing. But I realized I love this style of business. I want to figure it out. And guess what? Spent the next seven years trying to figure it out. So just a little bit of my story before we go on into some more recognition here. So uh, congratulations to everyone who hit multiplier. Um, so awesome. Uh, let's see. First time multiplier, Amber Davidson. That's awesome. Fantastic. Next thing I want to talk about is rank ups. So as you all know, we have a ranking system, ranks one through ranks 10, and actually ranks one through legends. So there's 11 ranks that you can hit. And each rank has a number, rank one through 10, and then it has stars. So all the, pur the purpose of the ranking system is for you to be able to take a snapshot of your business and be able to know kind of where you're at at that point in time. And what you're going to uh, uh, strive for is this January... Hopefully you get to a certain rank and then next January, hopefully you'll be a little bit above that rank, right? It's not meant that it's, you're going to have a new rank every single, every single, every single, every single month. Although some of you are crushing it and flying through the ranks, which is exciting. Uh, but the goal is to have an idea of where your business at is in a point of time. And then over time, we're striving for progression, right? So the goal is, you know, if you go February, March, April, May, and you hit a new rank in May, that's awesome. And then boom, you might not achieve that rank again for a month. And the next thing you know, you pop right through the next one. It's kind of like the scale, right? When you're doing a low carb lifestyle or drinking ketones, it goes down, then it gets flat and it goes up a minute and then it goes down. And like, it, it's not this linear journey. I share that because what I want everybody on here, especially this time of year, is not just to look for next month what you're going to achieve or the month after. I want you to look, okay, in December of 2023, where is my business going to be at? In December of 2025, I skipped the year, 2025, that's three years from now, where is my business going to be at? Because if we start taking a long-term approach, seeing way into the future, then we take the action necessary over time. Uh, in order to achieve that. So if you um, hit a new rank or a new star level, type it in the chat real quick because I'd love to know. Candace hit rank two. All right, Candace. Donica, first time rank five. That's awesome. Robin, rank one or rank two. Perfect. Look at the six one star. Way to go, Lori. 
Allie May, rank three, reclaim seven. Sarah, congratulations. Joy Lujan, rank four. Liz, rank seven. Awesome. Amber, way to go. Jennifer McKenzie, rank four, three star. Rank four, first time. Jessica, that is fantastic. I love it. I love it. So we have a couple milestone ranks in our rewards plan. Uh, the first I like to actually say is rank two. Okay. Uh, if you're, if you've hit rank two in the past type uh, rank two in the comments. So I, I know who our rank twos are on here. That's kind of like the first benchmark. That's the first like, all right, I got over the hump. I hit rank two. I'm no longer a rank one. Like I, I'm a number now. I'm, I'm, I'm a digit. Um, look at all these. That's awesome. So if, I know I saw a couple of you that just hit it for the first time this last month. Congratulations. Like that's the, that's the first step. Now we can start to build on that. And the jump between rank two and rank three is a little bit of a jump. It's a challenge. And then of course there's a step and a step. Uh, you'll hear us often talk about COCs or circle of champions. And that's our rank six level. That's where prove it starts to give you $800 a month to go pay for whatever car you want to pick out. There's a little criteria that you can choose from as far as cars go. But it's essentially a luxury vehicle paid for by Prove It, uh, which is incredible. And we have a bunch of uh, rank sixes in our community. And that's kind of the first leadership level. If you're driving a paid for car by Prove It and you have the car type, what type of what your car is? What, what, what vehicle is Prove It paying for you? I'm curious. I have a Tesla X in the garage, which is super awesome. I know our first uh, Prove It car was a, a really fun one, too. I see GMC Denali, Lexus, Volvo. Ooh. That's exciting. Lexus, Tesla, super fun. Um, so after rank six, the next rank is what we call rank seven. And rank seven uh, is a solid full-time income with Prove It. Rank seven, uh, we call it a pro champ level. Uh, you have to have 100,000 in a month in volume, which you can do the math on how many boxes that is. It's 1,000 plus boxes, 12 to 15, 1,200, 1,500 boxes a month going in your business. So it's a significant number of people that you're are impacting. Um, in this past month, we actually had two brand new pro champs uh, in the team. I think, is Nikita on? I don't know if Nikita is on or not. Nikita Joy is one of uh, the new pro champs. So you can give her some love. She isn't, I don't think she's been able to be here tonight, but uh, congratulations. And then the second pro champ is Liz Grant. And I see her. Liz, can you come off mute? What's up? Hey, hey, everybody. It's great to see you. Liz texted me and said, my sweater is in a box. What do I do? I said, I don't know. <laughs> Wear a Christmas decoration. You found right, something. Right, right, right. So <laughs> there you go. I love it. I love it. Um, real quick, Liz, fill everyone in. Mm -hmm. How long have you been uh, drinking ketones and sharing ketones? And tell sure. us a little of your story. Uh, September uh, 2015. So seven years. That's awesome. I know it's great. It's great. And uh, life changing, life changing. So yeah. you, uh, I guess, what's your key to success so far? <clears throat> Don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. When, when life, you know, hits you in the face, just keep going. <laughs> then this is her share dreams. of life. What? Right? I said, you've had your share of life, but yeah. you're still here. Yeah, and I'm still here and loving ketones. And I get just a high helping people feel better, do better, be their best self. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you, Liz. Uh-huh. Um, Thank you. Well, Thank thanks for sharing. Give Liz some love. It's your support that makes <laughs> it happen, <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Um, Thank you. What I love about Liz hitting rank seven is Liz started seven years ago. Did you guys hear that? Rank seven, seven years. What if all you did was go up a rank every year and you, you could be a pro champ like Liz? How do you do it? You just stick around for seven years. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of you, I don't know, how long have you been at your current job? It, type in the comments how long you've been in your career or whatever your career is. I'm just curious. Like some of you have probably been there five years. Some of you have been there 10 years. I don't know. There's people that are probably old enough on here to have been there for 20 years, 30 years, 29 years, Brian, 26 years, Aisha, I see 30 years. <laughs> I mean, 
we're you can't even divide prove it into that like prove it's only been around for seven and a half years and some of you have been in your jobs for i don't know how long so the the interesting like correlation i see there is if if we gave this business the time horizon that we gave our actual career now the income from it might not go whoop, like hit your job right away but like i kind of looked at it as i want to school to be a pilot for four years and then i flight instructed for a year after that so five years worth of education and time my first job flying airplanes i made twenty thousand dollars in my first year uh, for flying the little baby jets and I spent about $120,000 to get my education. Now, down the road, being a pilot's a good career, but you, shoot, by the time I was, if I would have pursued the pilot career, maybe when I was 33, 34, 35, right about now in my life, I'd actually be making a decent wage. Now, I was willing to give five years of my life, I was willing to invest, right, that kind of uh, income into getting an education. Why? Because I saw hey, this would be a good career. What if I treated our business like that? Well, actually I did, right? For the first seven years of doing this, I looked at it as this is my education. I'm going to read everything I can. I'm going to learn everything I can. I'm going to sharpen my skills. I'm not going to get caught up on, on where I'm at in the process. I'm just going to focus on the process and enjoy the journey. And then guess what happened? The same thing that happened as me being a pilot. Like I created a sex successful career and in Prove It and in Ketones, you just heard from Liz, her key to success, don't quit. Keep going forward. Keep sharing, right? And then learn everything you possibly can. Become a little bit better uh, each and every day. So that's super awesome and inspiring, Liz. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, now, in order to make it fun and, and make sure that we're like, you don't just get bored and go go do something else and go find the next shiny object. Prove It always has great promos, right? They have great promos, great contests, great uh, things to just keep us engaged. One of them right now is the Snowflake Challenge. You guys see all, see that, the Snowflake Challenge, where every 200 in new volume you get in a day, you get a snowflake, uh, you get prizes. Those are fun. And then you accumulate a certain number of snowflakes, you get extra cash. There's a flyer for that in the Pulse. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I know a lot of you have already earned some snowflakes and have earned some of those fun prizes, so congratulations. Um, the other thing that we have going on is our Bahamas trip, which is coming up in February. And the neat thing about that is it's one of those things where everybody can qualify. Uh, right. You're going to earn money towards it based upon the tokens that you earn. But everybody can qualify to go on the trip if you hit MVP twice uh, from September until December. Now, we already have a huge amount of people that have qualified. I'm going to actually have Maddie B share a screen and share that with us. So these are our Bahamas qualifiers. Um, huge shout out and congrats. I'm not going to read every single name, but we'll leave this up here for a minute so you guys can just see all of the Bahamas qualifiers. I hope every single one of you go with us. Um, if your name's on this list, it's February 2nd through the 6th and uh, you got to come. It's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be one of the best proven events ever. Um, we have like 60 something people. That's that's like 120 humans that are becoming. Plus, you can bring your family. I'm bringing my kids. It's going to be awesome. Now. When you're going to the Bahamas, you can actually earn Bahamas cash. Obviously, you're earning money by hitting multiplier and hitting MVP, and you're, you can put that cash towards the trip. Uh, but Prove It will give you additional cash based upon the tokens that you earn. So every time you enroll a new promoter or hit MVP or help your new promoter hit MVP or help them hit All-Star, you're earning tokens. And uh, we actually have a ton of people that have earned more than 100 tokens already. And I want to show you guys that list. Um, and... These are everyone that's earned more than uh, 100 tokens. So huge shout out. Congratulations. The max that you can earn is 2,500. And that happens when you hit 300. So I see a lot of your names are really close to 300 and uh, on the way. And congratulations. So that's uh, that's perfect. Maddie, you can, uh, you can end the screen share. Thank you so much. Um, so I just wanted to share that because... Uh, we don't do a ton of recognition, but everybody's name who's on that list has worked really hard and you guys deserve a huge fist bump, huge high five. Um, and I, you know what, like there's still time. So if you're not yet qualified and you want to go, well, earn yourself $500, hit MVP this month, work with your sponsor, work with whoever you're uh, enrolled with and let's, let's get it done. Let's have some fun and let's go enjoy the beaches of uh, Atlantis. It's an incredible resort. So I'm going to turn it back over to Shay um, and congrats, guys. It was an amazing, amazing November. And I'm telling you, the New Year's uh, is just 
going to be awesome. Thanks, Nick. Y'all, how inspiring is that? When I first came into this business and I saw all these people succeeding, I was like, immediately, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. But once you remove that mindset and you get inspired by that, I got chills right now because it's like makes me want to push even harder. That is so exciting. So y'all, I have the biggest treat. Like, I think I'm going to get teary eyed. I have the pleasure of introducing this wonderful woman that I've been gazing at for years. Like, I want to be her. I want to be like her. So when Nick asked me to introduce, I was like, um, of course, should I go get a crown on um, Miss Natalie, Mrs. Natalie Boba? That's kind of, a, I'll let her explain that to you. Kilborn is going to give us a special little treat. And I'm super excited. I think she's having a disco party, guys. Do you see her? I see black, but I see lights. Um, oh, now the lights are on. Natalie, what do you have for us? I mean, besides this sweater, do you all see this sweater? It has some sort of, <laughs> oh, but he doesn't like it, but he doesn't like it. I'll be less animated. So he's not barking. Crawling. <laughs> hey, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for that super kind introduction. You want to see the dog? Okay, hold on. He's, he has bipolar. He is clinically, he has some problems. So hold up. <laughs> but he, look, these are our friends. You have to be nice. See how me? Okay, go, go. See, this is what I deal with. I am really kind and loving. And I always pick like the guys that are like that, you know, like the people that nobody else love. I'm like, I love him. I'll take him. And then he's like that. He's like half really nice and half really mean. Anyways, welcome to my shirt disco party. This is so fun. And Lizzie, I'm so excited for you. You all, I have gotten to know Lizzie since like way back. It was like maybe 2009, 2010, maybe when I met Lizzie and like Lizzie is the woman, like the lady. If you look in the dictionary under the word lady, it's Lizzie. Like she always has like a pretty scarf on with a button down shirt and looks like a lady. And I am here in my bedazzly blinky shirt and she is the ladiest of all ladies. So if you need lady lessons, go to Lizzie. She's the absolute best. But I'm so proud of you. So... I get the super fun pleasure of giving you all a little, a little um, training or a little lesson. Do you all have a piece of paper? Look what I get to talk to you about. I have two pages of notes, highlighted, circled, underlined. It's going to be really good. Nick said I have 10 minutes, so it's 827. We're going to motor, but I'm going to give you guys some good stuff to write down. So what I want to teach you or help you or pass on to you is something that I've literally learned probably way back in 2006 that I've applied in my own life in a bunch of different ways, especially in business. And it's the law of sowing and reaping. Um, you heard Nick talk about it a little bit, just kind of that idea of keep on going. Well, I'm going to tell you the story. The original story comes from the Bible, but you can literally apply it in all kinds of ways. So Here's the first part of the story that I want you all to write down. I want you to write down, the ambitious sower starts with good seed. This is the critical part of the story. One, you have to be an ambitious sower. You have to get excited about ketones. You have to get excited about uh, the opportunity we have. You have to get ambitious about talking about ketones, exposing people to the idea, um, getting ketones in people's mouths. Because if you just sign up and you do nothing, nothing will happen. It's a real crazy phenomenon, but nothing will happen. So you have to get ambitious. That's number one. Number two is you have to start with good seed. And you know what the best part is? We have the best seed on the planet. If you just give people the opportunity to get ketones in their bodies, ketones will do the work for you. You don't have to be a great salesperson. You don't have to know all the details. You don't have to be great at all the things. You just have to sow the seed. The good seed is the ketones and you let them go to work. So 
at the front end of this story, we know we are ambitious sowers and we have good seed, which is ketones. So as long as you have those two things, this law will work. It, it always works. It works for everybody. It works 100% of the time. This is how it will go. So the story says the ambitious sower begins to sow. And as they're going to the field, some of the seed, imagine, oh, I wish I... I, sh I should have had a little illustration. Imagine I have my bucket of seed and I'm going to the field to sow, but some of the seed falls out and it falls along the road. And guess what? Write down this phrase, write down, the birds are going to get some seed. How many of you have had a time period where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk about ketones and you're doing all these things, but like the seed never really grows, right? The seed never really gets to the soil. The seed just is falling out. And Jim, if you've never heard this story, I'm going to give you the link to listen to him because he's awesome. But he says, the birds, the birds will get some. And he said, at this point, you have two choices. You can chase the birds or you can stay in the field. And I'm telling you, I have seen so many people chase the birds to get their seed back, right? You send somebody a trial, they say they're gonna do it, they're excited to do it and poof, they're gone and you never hear from them again. But you leave the field, you leave the opportunity to continue to sow, to chase that person, to chase the bird, to chase the seed. When that person is giving you every signal, I'm not, I'm not ready for this, I didn't want this, I'm not going to do it with you, but you're so focused on chasing the birds. He says, don't leave the field. Just know in your head, the birds will get some. And some of you are like, why is that, Nat? Why, why do the birds get some? And guess what Jim says? Jim says, I wouldn't sign up for that class. I wouldn't sign up for that class. It's just the law. He says, we don't make the rules. <laughs> I just listened to him right before this call. And he said, Someday when you have your own planet and you want to make the rules up to be something different, you can. But for now, these are the rules on the planet that we live on. So just, just know that the birds will get some, but don't chase the birds, stay in the field. And then the story goes on and the story tells us the ambitious sower keeps on sowing. And when he begins to sow again, um, the seed falls on rocky soil. So he's still sowing, the seed falls on rocky soil and it may even begin to sprout. Have any of you had some seeds that fall on rocky soil and you get some little sprouts and you're like, oh my gosh, this might be a thing. They want to put in an order or, oh man, they got their first customer like, ah, but the first hot day, <laughs> the seed chokes and dies. The seed chokes and dies. And Jim says, this is not of your making. This is not your fault. This is not something that you did or something you participated in. You just have to understand that the seed on the rocky soil choked and died on the first hot day. And he says, your best response is to accept that not all things stick. You will lose customers. Some great ideas and some people that you think will be absolutely amazing. They won't pan out. He says, what the most important thing is, is you, I want you all to write down this phrase. He says, discipline your disappointment. Discipline your disappointment. I put a one in the chat. If you've ever had that disappointment feeling of like, oh, I thought for sure. I thought for sure that person would do something. I thought, thought for sure that person would go MVP. I thought for sure that person would have ordered on the BOGO. I thought for sure, he says. But if you discipline your disappointment, the faster you can move from disappointment back into action, the faster your seed will fall on the good ground. He talks, he says, how many times have you invited somebody to a guest call and they don't show up? And you're like, oh, the birds, the birds got him. Or the person you invited to place that order, they say, I'm going to do it. And they don't. And you're like, oh, the rocky soil, the rocky soil got them. It just, it just is what it is. And he keeps saying in all of these things, he said, um, isn't that interesting? So when things don't go your way, 
when the customer doesn't sign up, when the seed falls on rocky soil, when the trial customer doesn't come back in order so many times, we can assign a label to that. Oh, that person didn't order because I didn't say the right thing. That person didn't hit MVP because I'm not the best leader. That person didn't X, Y, Z because, and I label it of, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not real great at this business. I'm not this, I'm not that. That's not the label you put on it. The label you put on it is, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Now, how does that feel? Do y'all feel the difference in that? When I don't put the label of that person didn't order because I'm not a great salesperson, that doesn't feel good. That actually like shrinks me back. It doesn't like increase my power. It actually takes it away. But if the person doesn't order and I say, isn't that interesting? The birds, <laughs> the birds must have got them. That feels so much better where you're just like, I'm releasing that pressure on myself to the idea of as long as the ambitious sower keeps on sowing, man, it will fall on the good soil. So he says, after the rocky soil has choked some out, he says the best part of the story is the ambitious sower keeps on sowing. So the sower throws some seeds on the thorny ground things start growing, but then the thorns choke them out. He says the thorns are little cares, little distractions, little obstacles, setbacks, and the mindset of letting little things cheat you out of big ideas. <laughs> uh, guilty. I'd like to say I'm guilty of allowing the thorns to choke myself out and the thorns choke out other people's seeds. When you say, man, I'm sure this person's going to, I'm sure this person's going to get started. And they talk to their neighbor and their neighbor says, oh, you're going to do one of those things. You're going to do an MLM. The thorns choked them out. They're gone. They're a goner. And Jim says, when you think, well, why did that happen? How, what, what could I have done? <laughs> Jim says, I wouldn't sign up for that class. I wouldn't sign up for that class. He says, why does the sun rise in the morning? It just does. I wouldn't sign up for that class. Why do some people say they're going to do something and then they don't? It just happens. I wouldn't sign up for that class, right? Um, he says, don't try to figure out why the thorns come. Just move on and keep on sowing. Best part of the story. Are you all ready? He says, the ambitious sower keeps on sowing. He said, if you keep on sowing, you'll always get to the good ground where your efforts pay off, where you begin to reap results and a harvest. I mean, I can tell you after I started in network marketing in 2006, I can tell you like the snowball gets rolling quicker and quicker where you can sow a little easier, sow a little better. You're, you develop some skills, you develop some talents, you develop some uh, networking and the, you hit the good ground where you're like, oh man, if I just keep on sewing, I will always find the good ground. And I want you to hear clearly, like it, like Nick doesn't always sow the seed on good ground. Guess what? The birds get Nick's seeds. Like the thorns choke out Nick's seeds. The, like Jody, the birds get her seeds. It's not like you arrive and you're like, oh, every single time I sow a seed, every single time I do a trial pack every single time I post on ketones, every single time I make a TikTok or whatever your thing is, it doesn't always fall on the good soil. But I promise you, if you keep on sowing, it will. And he says, good seed, this, I think this is really interesting. And I think this is a great lesson. He said, some seed, like as long as you have good seed, some seed will yield 30% some seed will yield 60% and some seed is a hundred percent and you just don't know what it is. Like what's so interesting is in however long that is from like 2006 until now, maybe Britain's there. He could do math. Right. Jody, I see him. Um, like sometimes the people that I think are the 30 percenters, they turn out to be the hundred percenters. And you're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that person to do that or that person to achieve that. Sometimes 
I put all my tokens in on one person, right? I push my chips in and I'm like, this is the one, this person is the person. And then like, literally the birds get them and you're like, that's so strange. Like I thought that person would do something. So I want to remind you, don't waste your time trying to figure out all the things of why things don't happen or what this person's doing or why they didn't or why they did, but just keep on sewing. Like, and if we keep on sewing with the mindset of, isn't that interesting to how people respond or react or reply or take on, uh, the idea of ketones and, um, you just remember that as long as you are the ambitious sewer that keeps on sewing, like you can't lose, like you literally can't like somebody who is in action and does it for long enough over a long enough period of time, like they will win. You can't not win. Like, I don't know anybody who's really put forth a ton of effort, a ton of energy, a ton of commitment, like they've gone through the trials and they've stuck with it. I mean, think about Liz, like Nick just said, it took her seven years to rank seven there. Do you know how many people quit at rank or quit three years in because they didn't hit or quit four years in? Cause they were like, man, I'm still only a six. I'm still only a six. They quit at year seven or they quit at year six. Cause they're like, man, I'm only a six. I didn't, I'm just only a six. She just kept on sewing. She was ambitious. She had great seed and she just kept on sewing. Like those people will always win. Like that's the coolest thing. So I just want to remind you all that we have great seed. And I know all of you are amazing, ambitious sewers and you can keep on sewing. I would love for you all to go listen to the real Jim Rohn because he is lights out a million times better than me. And he has the, he has just this really interesting like cadence to his voice. And like, I can hear, I'm sure Asia, you can hear his voice in your head as I'm telling the story. He's awesome. Like he's one of the very few people that I am like genuinely really sad that I didn't get to meet him before he died. Like I wish I could have gone and gone to one of his things and saw him. I, he's probably one of like my very favorite mentors in network marketing. He's got just really solid lessons. If you do you all know Tony Robbins, do you know that there would not be a Tony Robbins without Jim Rohn? Jim Rohn was who like tucked Tony Robbins under his wing and taught him and trained him and helped him get a start for years and years and years. He was Tony's mentor. So awesome. You got to go look him up. His name is Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N. And if you want to listen to this story and a bunch of others, just get on YouTube and look up um, building your network marketing business, building your network marketing business. Um, that's where you'll find this story. He is so funny. So I hope I did his story justice because if you just get these simple concepts and allow yourself the freedom to not label things as I'm not this, or I'm not that, or I screwed this up or I screwed that up. And you just know, like you're an ambitious sower that keeps on sowing. The birds are going to get some, the rocky soil is going to get some, the thorns are going to get some, but if you just keep on sowing, you will find the good ground where things will grow and flourish and it will be fun and it will be easy and you'll create some real magic in your own business. So that's all I have. Back to you, Sassy Shay. Oh my gosh, Natalie, that was an amazing story. So I've never heard that one before. I did get the uh, pleasure of listening to Jen Rohn as Nick thought he was a NASCAR driver leaving Lake Tahoe and we were winding through the roads and we were listening to him and I'm like trying to take notes and I'm like wow so when you said that the um, ambitious sower starts with a good seed in my mind I'm thinking am I going to be in the field sowing some seeds together so that they all grow and blossom off of each other and then as the more you talked about it, I was like why am I not listening to this why am I like telling people to do it so if you think that these don't help you and you get in the habit of listening to these, it'll change your complete mindset. Um, so thank you, thank you for that. I will no longer be in my mind sowing seeds in a field. I will be sowing them in the ground. Um, Nick, you have some exciting stuff for us, don't you? I lost my script. Uh, yes, I think we're going to Amber to do our drawing for last month's contest. 
What's oh up, my Amber gosh, okay. yet? Hey guys, my name is Amber Horn. I'm out in Oregon. Super rainy today, but we've got some fun prizes to give away. I know there's a massage gun, I think maybe two. We will see. But we wanted to award some prizes for our Give Back with the Trial Pack contest that we had last month. And a lot of you guys participated. I know some of you had a little bit of hang up with a collage piece of it. So Nick sent out a link so you could enter that way. But it was huge. I would love if you participated, if you would put a one in the chat so we can see everybody that participated and sold at least sold or gave away at least nine trial packs. Look at that. Lots of people. I love it. So for me, it was it was huge because when Black Friday came around, I had all these people that I had been either giving a trial pack to or doing a drive by trial pack or selling a trial pack to. They were ready to come in with the BOGO deal and my sales were, were crazy, better than they've ever been. And I attribute that to a lot of that to the fact that I'd gotten trial packs out at the beginning of the month. So there is a method to the badness behind these contests and competitions that Nick puts out. And if you follow the process and do the things, um, it, you will be rewarded, not just in the, in the prize bowl, but you will be rewarded in your business as well. So anyways, let's draw out a prize. I've got all the names. I put the names in here. If you Put the collage in the Facebook group as well as entered through the link. So everyone's in here for as many times as you said you had a group of nine. So let's go. First let's prize two, is a massage uh, gun. Two massage guns. These are like legit, like, you know, you, you worked out and your leg hurts. So you get this little massage gun. We got two of them to give away and then two uh, ketones shaker bottles. Okay. So you want me to draw four names in a row? Okay. All right, so here's here's the deal. You need to, if you're a winner, you need to email simplefunketo at gmail.com with your mailing address and be sure to let Nick know what you want. So if you want a massage gun, just say, I want a massage gun. Here's my mailing address. Thank you so much, okay? Do, do All right. the first two for the massage guns and then two shakers after that. Okay, massage gun number one. Do they have to be present to win on this one? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Okay. So this is Donna Beller. Donna Beller, if you are here, come off mute and say, I'm here. Woohoo! You won a massage gun if you're here. She's not here. Okay. Let's go. Next name. Oh, we got a drum roll going. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Um, Brian LaRue, I think I saw him. Did he stay on? Brian, yep, if you're I'm on. here. Okay, I'm congratulations, here. Brian. You want a massage gun? Thank you. Will you put that uh, email in the chat? Because I'm new at sure. this. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Thank you. Can someone, yep, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Carrie. All right, massage gun number two. Christina Martinez Williams. I did not see Christina, but I have a feeling she is here. She is not here. Okay, so sad, Christina. <laughs> I'm sure she had a good reason. <laughs> All right, massage gun number two. Here we go. We're tangled. Adrian Favorite. Are you here? Come off mute. I know, Jamie, I love that last name. That's my favorite last name, right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay, here we go. Massage gun number two. Adrian favorite. Ann Whitfield. Ann, are you on the call? Yes, I am. Yeah. Congratulations. You won a massage gun. The email is in the comments. Can I get a shaker bottle instead? Oh, that's a nickel. Sure, okay. Sure. Okay. She's Just got email that shaker email, shaker, shaker bottle. I will. Okay. <laughs> Massage gun number two is still on the table. We will draw for that next. I really want one of those, but my name is not in here. Todd McGuire. There's a lot of guys here tonight. Todd, are you on? I'm here. 
Congratulations. You got a Thank massage you. gun. Thank you. <laughs> All right, last one, another shaker cup. This person always wins, I swear, and I did not see her. Joy Luhan. Here, I'm here, I'm here. There she is, congratulations. You want a shaker cup. Woo! All right, thank you, Nick, so much. Everyone knows how to redeem the prize. I know that there's a new contest coming up in December, even though we are already a weekend, that is okay. We're still gonna get excited about it, but congratulations, all our winners. Congratulations to everybody who played because it meant your business did move forward with the activity that you did and have a good night, Nick, back to you. Yes. Um, hey, so don't go anywhere because we still have three um, Prove It Christmas shaker bottles to give away based upon your uh, uh, your sweater. Whoever has the most fun uh, sweater. So we'll do a little uh, chat voting here in a minute. Shay's gonna run that. Um, we have three of these to give out. But before we do, I just wanted to bring attention to our call calendar, uh, which Amber so graciously put together and, and put in the Better Starts Here Facebook group. Go check that out. We have two trainings coming up this month uh, for our team. One is a Canva training on how to utilize Canva on your phone or computer to better make your own like creative fun stuff, right? To One of the things that if you think about it, community-based marketing, network marketing, whatever you want to call what we do. Uh, the last th word is marketing, right? So you have to put your creative hat on, even if it's not your norm. It's not my norm. I'm a pilot. Um, but over the years, I've learned and I've developed a muscle to create some creativity. So that's going to be a really, really great uh, training. And then also as a team, we're going to do a vision boarding exercise uh, after Christmas, before New Year's, just to kind of talk and really create a vision for where we want to go in the New Year. So th those are some calls. The other thing that you're going to see come out uh, that Natalie has been working very hard behind the scenes is a prove it guest call calendar. Um, these have been really, really awesome. And we're having them consistently. You'll see the exact times and dates to come, but it's basically Mondays and Thursdays for the rest of the month. Uh, so you can see the exact times once they're published, but they'll either be at 3 p.m. in the afternoon Eastern time or 8, p uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time on those days. And at the end of the day, like the, the reason that we're doing those calls is not just so that the trainers and uh, top leaders can hear themselves talk. They'd prefer to just hang out with their families. Uh, we're doing those calls so that I can put people that I'm talking to in front of Dustin Schaefer and Kate Higdon so that I can take somebody that I'm speaking with and put them in front of Mandy Mitchell. And by I, I mean you get to take any conversation that you're having and validate it with someone else. Um, so... Stay tuned for the challenge that we're going to launch for the month of December. Um, I'm going to put the details on it out in the next 48 hours here. And it's uh, it's going to be around consistency. And I, I've been I've had so many different ideas swirling in my head. I, uh, I think what we're actually going to do uh, is kind of a choose your own adventure for the end of the year. So think about this. There's going to be four different options. And you get to choose something that you're going to own and be consistent at between now and the end of the year. I didn't say all four. I said something. So one might be four Facebook lives a week for the rest of the month, or maybe just 10 total. One might be reels. One might be having a new conversation with somebody um, while you're out every single day. And then there might be another one. So it, it's going to be fun. It'll be simple, something that you can track. The goal here is to do consistent things daily, right? That move your business forward. And it isn't to get confused and, oh, I could do this. I could do, there's 18 different ways to have a conversation. We got to pick something that we enjoy doing and that we can develop a skill at, and we just have to do it over and over again. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming out shortly. Um, and stay tuned for more details on those guest calls. And again, that's the fastest way to connect someone is through those calls. And a little trick is I know what I've been hearing is, oh, I can never get somebody on the call. I can never get somebody on the call. If I invite 20 people to be live on a guest call, I probably have maybe one, two, three, four, if I'm lucky, that show up on the call. It's more likely one. Now, do, do you think I'm thinking that was a waste of time to invite them? No, because those other 19, guess what I'm doing? I'm following up. Hey, this call was amazing. I can't believe it. Uh, Dustin Schaefer and Kate Higdon were incredible. Hey, if I get you the recording, would you want to check it out? And guess what? The recordings for all of these, this is key. If you go to Prove It Facebook's page, Prove It's Facebook page, not the group, 
but just type in prove it. You'll see a black prove it logo. You will see all of our guest calls. They live there. You can share that link via text. You can share it via messenger and somebody now can watch that. You can even tag them in it. I would, I would copy the link and send it to them. So that to me, like I want everybody to have watched that, that has interest. And that's how I'm validating the conversation using people who are different than me, people who are smarter than me about ketones. So, um, Shay, I don't know how you're giving it, you're uh, picking the best, uh, ugly sweaters or the ugliest sweaters, but, uh, we got three shakers that, that have been in my basement for a little bit. And I've been waiting for the right opportunity to get these into people's hands. Okay. I have an idea. What do we have? Like seven minutes left. I think that, and I have my little phone here, I'm going to play some music. And I think if you have a sweater and this is Natalie's favorite thing to do, we need to have a dance off. Like you need to dance in your, I don't know why I was going to call it a dirty sweater. It's not a dirty sweater. I was doing so good hosting this call. You need to dance in your ugly sweater. And then um, I have this handy dandy little bell to announce the winners. What do you guys think of that? Let me grab some music. Oh, and this is Nick's favorite song. Hold on. Who's ready? I see Roy. Come on, Nick. Come on. Roy's really getting it there. Let's go, Aisha. Okay, Nick, this is your part right here. There go McCarthy's. I see the shibies. Woo, look at Santa. Y'all, this is amazing. Okay, Nick, get up. Ready? There he goes. Roy Lujan, you have not stopped. Winner one. I see Clarissa. And then I see Stacy jamming it too. There's our three. There we go. Oh. Do we hit those winners? I have Roy Lujan, I have Clarissa, and then Stacy. I don't see any last names on there, but send an email to simplefunketo at gmail.com and let them know that you won a shaker cup. And just Specify put on their the sign, Christmas. love dance monkey. He'll get it. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thank you, Shay. All right, guys. Have an awesome night. Have an awesome week. Appreciate all of you. We'll see y'all later.